Health at Oaks. My name is Duff, and I welcome you to Rad Rots for Africa. A small one-man shop in the middle of the forest where I realize rusty dreams. I'm waiting for my back leaf springs to come back from refurbishment. So in the meantime, I've started stripping in the front here. I've already taken out the shock absorbers. I'm going to be taking out the spring next. What's nice about this setup with the spring here, you don't need a compression tool, a spring compression tool. The spring is touched in the bottom with a big old fat nut. And in the top, it's just held in place by two bolts that holds a little U-bracket. So I'm going to undo that. Then I've released the spring from the top. And undo the big one in the bottom, then I can take the spring out and we can evaluate from there. Here yeah, you can see the two bolts that's holding the top of the spring. So I'm just going to undo them, which will release the top of the spring. That's a little U bracket, <coughs> excuse me, that holds the top of the spring in place. Just a tiny little plate. <laughs> so the chassis is supported on a stand. I've got my jack under <coughs> the beam. Top of the spring is undone. So if I lower the jack now, the spring should come right out. There we go. So now it's still held on in the bottom by that big old nut there. So I'm just going to do some battle with that, undo it so I can take the spring out completely. If you look carefully, there's a big ass old nut in here. Um, that I'm busy undoing. Um, it's a 32 millimeter spanner. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is in inches. What is that in inches? I think it's an inch and a quarter, I don't know, can't remember. So yes, I'm doing that, and then I can get the spring out completely. There's a big ass nut, washer that was holding the, sp holding the spring down, and here is the spring upside down. So that washer fitted in through here and held it on there. Okay, Laka, so with the spring out, we can make the beams move through its complete suspension movement. At the moment, I've got it bottomed against the rubber stop. That's compressing the rubber stop. And at that point, I start lifting the whole car. Now I'm going to lower it slowly, because this is now bottomed out. There's actually not a lot of negative camber. Right, look at that. It's pretty much still straight up, right? So now I'm going to drop the suspension. And you can see, as it goes down, how the camber changes. So it, my observation is that Ford actually designed the truck tending towards positive camber. In other words, what am I trying to say? There is actually slight positive camber on right height or at right height. As the suspension moves upwards, goes to zero and then to very little negative. And if we go the other way, of course, that camber just becomes way more positive. Interesting. And just a little qualifier, <laughs> um, I've never worked on an F100 before, I know absolutely nothing about these trucks. So I'm just observing and discovering and learning as I go. Um, so if any of you guys know more about this and there's something you can tell me, of course you're more than welcome to, to comment. Yes, I have to show you this. This is the upper shock mount. On the front side, look at this mess. There's even a stress crack running down here. 
and some bush mechanic had welded in this plate, which is already again the whole year is worn oval. So this poor truck must have worked very hard in its lifetime. No doubt some seriously bad dirt roads somewhere on those farms in eastern in the Eastern Cape where it came from. I got my springs out of the truck and onto the bench. I clean them up with a wire brush just so I can work on them a little bit better. Man, what a mission to clean something like this with a wire brush. But anyway, here we are. So now I have to make the final call as to what I want to cut off of the spring to drop the truck. So the first thing maybe, that's the bottom end, so it's a flat surface. That's the top end, you can see it curls off into space, it's an open end. So this kind of spring is actually the only type of spring that you can cut. If it was flat in the top of the top here, it would not have worked. So I thought long and hard about springs and the effects and all that, it's quite an interesting subject. And then I started thinking that the amount that you cut off of here, say you cut one inch here, that's not how much the top, the actual truck's going to drop. The truck's going to, the truck's going to drop by twice that amount. Why would that be? Because the spring sits halfway between the tires and the body. So that factor is multiplied by two. So if you cut off one inch vertical height, the truck will actually drop two inches. I wasn't sure about that, so I searched the internet far and wide. Information was quite scarce. But then I discovered Eaton Springs in the States, their website, quite informative. And a guy there with the name of Mike Eaton confirmed exactly the same thing. He also said, if you cut one inch, the vehicle will drop two inches. So yes, I'm glad that I got that confirmation and I think a lot of guys make that mistake. So if, it's something important to keep in mind. If I measure the free length of my spring, I'm going to measure it from the table surface to the center of the wire. I get 398 millimeters. 398 millimeters <laughs> okay if I want to cut out one coil one coil would bring me to this white mark right there let's measure that distance and that measures from the table surface to the center of the wire three 68 368 so the change is 0 3 30 millimeters that means if I cut out one coil the car or the truck will drop a total of 30 times 2 is 60 millimeters. So a little bit more than 2 inches. I think I would want more. So if I go a coil and a half, I get to that mark right there. Let's measure the free length again. Now I get 348 millimeters. Let's do this calculation again here. Yeah. 398 minus 348. The change is 50 millimeters. 50 times 2 is 100 millimeters. That is about 4 inches. So 
So if I cut a coil and a half, the change here is 50 millimeters multiplied with 2 for that drop factor. So I'm going to actually drop the front of the truck by 4 inches, 100 millimeters. I think I'm going to be brave and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut off a coil and a half. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, it's crunch time. Um, there's my coil and a half mark. Um, so I'm going to cut it. No. <laughs> you know what? If I stuff it up, I can't fix it. I can't put it back. I'm not sure I can find springs like this. I just can't. No! Ah! No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just cut off one coil. Go to this mark. And cut it off. Put it in. Give it a try. If it's still too high, I can always cut that other half off down the line. But if it's too much, it ain't no turning back. One coil, I'm cutting off one coil. So important thing to remember when you're cutting spring steel is you do not want, it let, want the material or the steel to eat up. It will change the structure of that spring steel forever. It will lose its springiness. So do not use a cutting torch. Cut off wheel is good. Um, I'm still going to use some air to keep me, help me keep it cool. Here goes. So call me a sissy, <laughs> one coil is out. But you know what, it's so easy to, to change or to take out these springs. So really, if I feel I want to drop a little bit more, I want to see suspension clearances and stuff like that. Um, so it's so easy to take out the spring. So I'm going to play it safe. I've only got one coil, put it back, get all the weight on the truck. And then we see what the stance looks like. Cool. Next lady for a shave. <laughs> going to clean up the frame rails and the chassis and everything in here it will give me an opportunity just to inspect things and make sure everything's cool it's a cock job I know <laughs> um, but yeah somebody's got to do it only somebody around here is moi <laughs> listen thanks for watching appreciate it hopefully um, my experiments is of value to someone um, appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button or the like button I'll see you guys in the next one